hello everyone welcome back this video shows you how to crochet a sling bag using a simple stitch the materials required for the project are four ply acrylic yarn any two colors 75 grams each four among crochet hook stitch marker scissors and a blunt needle let's begin our project by making a slip knot after completing the slip knot of chain 37 After completing 37 chains for the round on of 1 half double crochet in 3rd chain. So count it 1, 2 and 3 into the 3rd chain or 1 half double crochet. After completing the 1 half double crochet, place marker in top of the first half double crochet. After placing the marker from the next chain, we are going to work 1 half double crochet into the next 33 stitches. So count it and work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch. After completing the one half double crochet in 33 stitch into the last chain we are going to work three half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase, the second half double crochet increase and the third half double crochet increase after completing the three half double crochet increase place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase after placing the marker turn the off and here we are going to work into the loops so from the next loop we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 loops so count it the first one second loop third one like this count it and continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd loop after completing one half double crochet in 33 loops into the last loop we are going to work two half double crochet increase so first half double crochet increase and the second half double crochet increase after completing the two half double crochet increase place marker in first half double crochet increase after placing the marker remove the next marker and work a slip stitch now we are in the end of the round one there will be 72 half double crochet for the round two begin with the chain two and into the same chain space we are going to work two half double crochet increase first half double crochet increase and the second half double crochet increase after completing the two half double crochet increase place marker in top of the first half double crochet after placing the marker from the next chain like previous round we are going to work one half double crochet in next 33 stitch so count it and work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch After completing one half double crochet in 33 stitches, from the next chain we are going to work an increase. So two half double crochet increase in next three stitches. So remove the marker, and we are going to work the very first half double crochet increase. Into the same chain space we are going to work the one second half double crochet increase. After completing the two half double crochet increase into the very first chain, we are going to place marker in first half double crochet increase. After placing the marker into the next chain, we are going to work two half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase and into the same chain space again we are going to work the second half double crochet increase. Again into the third stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase, the first one and the second half double crochet increase. After completing the two half double crochet in three stitches there will be six half double crochet from the next chain again we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches so one half double crochet two half double crochet the third one like this count it and work until you reach the 33 stitches 
so one half double crochet in 33 stitches now we have completed working our one half double crochet in 33 stitches again remove the marker we are going to work two half double crochet increase in next two stitches so into the very first stitch we are going to work the first half double crochet increase and place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase into the same chain space again we are going to work the second half double crochet increase so now place the marker again into the next stitch that is second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase so the first half double crochet increase and the second half double crochet increase after completing the increases in the two stitches there will be four half double crochet now remove the next marker and work a slip stitch in the end of the round two there will be 78 half double crochet for the round three we are going to begin with the chain two and into the same chain space we are going to work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the half double crochet into the next chain we are going to work an increase so two half double crochet increase into the same stitch so here one two pattern we are going to increase in this round from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches so count it and work one half double crochet in next 33 stitch now we have completed working our one half double crochet in 33 stitches remove the marker we are going to work one half double crochet and into the second stitch we are going to work an increase so two half double crochet increase first half double crochet increase and the second one into the same chain space so again one half double crochet and into the second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet increase first half double crochet and into the same chain space the second half double crochet again into the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet and into the next chain we are going to work two half double crochet increase in this round we have increased in the second stitches so there will be nine half double crochet from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 33 stitches so count it and work one half double crochet until you reach the 33rd stitch now we have worked one half double crochet in 33 stitches remove the next marker and we are going to work one half double crochet and two half double crochet increase into the second stitch so into the second stitch we are going to work two half double crochet again into the next chain work one half double crochet into the next stitch we are going to work increase so two half double crochet increase after increasing there will be six half double crochet remove the next marker and work a slip stitch in the end of the round three we will have 84 half double crochets here our base ends for the next round we are going to work a chain two and into the same chain space into the back loop we are going to work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the first half double crochet from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet in back loop all along the stitches so continue to work one half double crochet in back loop all along the stitches Now we are in the end of our round 4, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 4, we will have 84 half double crochets. So work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn out. From the next round, we are going to work in a new color yarn. So make a slip knot and insert in any one of the chain.
for the round 5 begin with the chain 1 and work 1 single crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet after placing the marker of a chain 3 and into the same chain space work 3 double crochet after completing the 3 double crochet skip the next 3 stitches so 1 2 and 3 into the 4th stitch of 1 single crochet chain 3 and 3 double crochet so we are working 1 single crochet chain 3 3 double crochet into the 4th stitch again skip the next 3 chain and work 1 single crochet chain 3 3 double crochet in 4th chain so repeat the same pattern throughout the round 5 I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of a round 5. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So we are slip stitching in top of the single crochet. Again slip stitch in chain 3 space. For the round 6, we are going to begin with the chain 1 and 1 single crochet in chain 3 space. And place marker in top of the single crochet. Again we are going to work a chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space we are going to work one single crochet and chain 3. Again into the next chain 3 space we are going to work one single crochet and chain 3. Like this repeat the same pattern throughout the round 6. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of the round 6. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So we are slip stitching in top of the single crochet. For the next round, we are going to work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet. Again into the same chain space, we are continue working chain 3 and 3 double crochet. Now we have completed working our 3 double crochet. In top of the next single crochet, we are going to work 1 single crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. So in this round, we are going to work in top of the single crochet. After completing the 3 double crochet, into the next single crochet, we are going to work 1 single crochet, chain 3 and 3 double crochet. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 7. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 7. Now we are in the end of a round 7. 
remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the single crochet. After completing the slip stitch for the next round we are going to work a slip stitch in chain 3 space. So again work a chain 1 for the round 8 and 1 single crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet. This round is similar to the round 6. Again work a chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space continue to work 1 single crochet chain 3. Again into the next chain 3 space work 1 single crochet and chain 3. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round 8. Now we are in the end of a round 8. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we are going to work a chain on and cut the extra yarn. For the next row we are going to add a new color yarn. So take the new color yarn and make a slip knot. Round 9 is similar to the round 7. So we are going to insert into the top of the single crochet. And work a chain 1, 1 single crochet and chain 3, 3 double crochet into the same chain space. So chain 1. So work a chain 1, 1 single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet and continue to work chain 3, 3 double crochet into the same chain space. After completing the 3 double crochet into the next single crochet, work 1 single crochet, chain 3, 3 double crochet. So into the next single crochet we are going to work one single crochet chain three and three double crochet So continue working the same pattern throughout the round 9. So repeat the round 8 and round 9 up to round 29. So now we are in the end of a round 29. Slip stitch in top of the single crochet. Work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn out. For the next round we are going to add the next color yarn. So we are going to work in chain 3 space. So insert the needle into the chain 3 space and work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet. After that work a chain 3. And into the next chain 3 space work 1 single crochet and chain 3. Like this in chain 3 space repeat work 1 single crochet and chain 3. Now we are in the end of the round 30 slip stitch in top of the single crochet. For the round 31 begin with the chain 1 and 1 single crochet in same chain space and place marker in top of the single crochet. Into the next chain 3, we are going to work 3 single crochet. So 1, 2 and 3. And in top of the single crochet, work 1 single crochet. Again, there will be 3 chains, work 3 single crochet. So like this, repeat the same pattern throughout the round 31. So in this round, we are working 1 single crochet in top of the single crochet and 3 single crochet in chain 3 space. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 31. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 31.
Now we are in the end of a round 31. Remove the marker and work a single crochet instead of a slip stitch and place marker in the very first single crochet of the next round. So continue to work one single crochet for next three rounds. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 34. Now we are in the end of a round 34. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. After slip stitching, work a chain on and cut the extra yarn out. Weave in all the extra yarns. For the handle, we are going to place the marker in 6 chains in both the corner. So count the 6 chains in both the corners and place marker. And we are going to insert the yarn into the very first chain. And for the round on, we are going to work a chain 3. And one double crochet in next five chains. Into the next chain of one double crochet. Into the next chain of one double crochet. into the next chain of one double crochet like this till the next marker of one double crochet now we have reached the marker remove the marker and work one double crochet now for the round two begin with the chain three and turn the off Skip the very first chain and work one double crochet into the second chain into the back loop and into the next four chains work one double crochet into the back loop. Now we are working in the turning loop. Now we have completed working our double crochets for the round 3. Begin with the chain 3 and turn the work and skip the very first chain and one and work one double crochet in back loop of next 5 chain. Like this repeat the same pattern for the handle for your record length. Now we have completed the strap. Now we are going to attach the handle into the next corner. Pull the loop through the first chain. So remove the first marker and pull the loop through the first chain. and off chain 1 and slip stitch in next 5 stitches 
so we are going to slip stitch next five stitches remove the last marker and work a slip stitch into the turning chain now make a chain one and cut the extra yarn out so now we have completed attaching our handle on the bag so friends now we are in the end of our video i hope you really enjoyed this video it's a very simple stitch give it a try if you are new to my video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification so friends i'll be meeting you in another new video until then take care and bye bye